So I just finished construction and assembly of this um, mink wheel for Ita. It's pretty neat. Um, I got a cage around it and it's joined with a little tunnel right here. You can see her coming in there. And um, what I used for a bearing was um, a, a roller blade wheel. And then I just used the axle that's in there for it and uh, mounted it to the side of the shed. Built a really strong cage around it and joined it to this other cage. And you can see she's already getting used to it a little bit. And uh, she really hasn't gone around it yet, but I think that she will. It turns pretty easy. She's just kind of exploring it right now, seeing if she likes it. There's kind of a large gap up here at the top, but I don't think that'll pose any really problem for Ita. So right now I'm just feeding her and she's taking her food and cashing it <laughs> somewhere, which is okay. I want her to want to feed her through here. Uh, it's kind of fun. She's kind of getting used to it. Ita. Ita. Here, here, girl. See, she's I think she's done eating. She was pretty hungry, but now she's just cashing her food. So she's just kind of figuring it out. What's this all about? Oh, there she goes, all the, nearly all the way around. Hopefully, this will give her some really good exercise. It's pretty quiet. I think I'd do some things differently. For example, I think I'd build. A cage that was probably oh six to eight inches bigger all the way around and make it just square so and this is kind of my idea this is what I had in my mind so this is what I built but sometimes when you get it built you really don't um, you don't think about all the little things and my idea was to have it so that it was pretty much self-contained and I think it's going to work pretty good. It might rub a little bit, but um, Ita. Yeah, she's just cashing her food right now. But she's going in there pretty readily now. She's got it all figured out. <laughs> She's trying to figure out, where's all this stuff go? She's trying to figure out all the little cracks and nooks. What she can do, what she can't do. See if there's any weaknesses. <laughs> but she's going to explore it. She'll probably get up there on top, but... It... There she goes, all the way around. Yay! Oh, get some exercise in there, and I'll, I'll do that so that I can reach in there. And... Okay. It took a lot of time I drilled. How oh, Four or five pounds. Oh, there's a rat. I just saw a rat over there. She's getting used to it. Eat that. pretty freely I think once she starts figuring that this is a good way to get out and spend some energy she'll get up there and there she goes she's learning really fast
Anyways, this is good enough. If I was to build another one, I'd do it a little bit differently. Like I said, I think I'd do a square cage that was a little bit bigger and then a lot bigger than the wheel so that she could explore around it and even get up on top of the wheel if she wanted to. And then this is kind of what I visualized and uh, but it's working pretty good. Hopefully that bearing holds up. Um, and we'll just have to see. But she seems to like it and she's trying everything out. I mean she's biting it now. Are you biting it? I think I might take and put <clears throat> a little bridge that's got like a little gap on one side that she can cross over to there or something. I'm, I want to make her pin more just more all kinds of obstacles and stuff. Neela smells a rat. It's driving her nuts. Anyways, so this is the newest addition to the pen. It's pretty cool. I think anybody could build one. It's, you just got to use a little bit of ingenuity. I didn't make a video of building this. I just wanted to put one together. But if there's one of my friends that wants one and I have some materials, maybe I'll make a video of how I built it and come up with a little bit better plans because there's some things... Um, I could change and make it a little bit better. Um, <clears throat> but overall it turned out nice. I like the bulb. My friend, I did have a different bearing, but I was talking to my friend about it and he says, oh, we made a hamster wheel with a, um, a roller blade wheel or a roller skate wheel. And he said it turned out really great and they used it for their hedgehog. And... Uh, he said it worked really great. And I, I had a, a Lazy Susan bearing, which turned really well when you were when it was flat, but when you turn it on the side, it didn't work so good. But this one works great. And the best part is the little axle was free because I had some that my kids had worn the wheel out and had taken the wheel off and thrown it in the roller skate bucket. But yeah, I think that she's going to enjoy it. It's going to be another fun thing for her to do. And hopefully she'll be able to get and burn off some calories. Because one of the struggles I've had is she's um, pretty chubby right now. And I need to get her weight down so that she'll be more aggressive. But like tonight, this was 110 um, grams of food. She ate probably about 40 and gobbled it right up. And then the rest she started cashing, which is kind of frustrating, but... Neva, you gonna get that rat? Anyways, I need to make some more fun things for her. She loves her hammock. She loves a little hole in there. She gets dried off. She loves it. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. And I'll bring you some more videos. Bye.